Okay, so let's work on the first problem in the independent practice from lesson 3.6, lesson 6, 3.6, the AC method. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out what the AC is. AC is 4 times 5, so that equals 20. So I need to find the factors of 20. Actually, it's negative 20 because it's 4 times negative 5, 4 and then negative 5. And I need factors of that negative 20 to equal up to positive 12 when you add them up. So we know that, um, let's do the factors of 20, 1, 20, and then 2, 10, and then 3, 3 doesn't work, 4, 5. Um, we know that one of the factors has to be negative, the other factor has to be positive. Now since um, when we add them up, it's a positive, that means that the smaller number, the smaller factor is negative. So that's 19, that's uh, 8, and that's 1. So this is the factor that we were looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and split up that middle term. So we had 4a squared plus 19a minus 5 equals 0. So let's go ahead and split up that term with our factor of negative 1 and 20. So that becomes 4a squared minus a plus 20a minus 5 equals 0. And then when I'm, I'm going to group this, and thank you, Michael, for showing my kids how to do this. What he did was he put what he was going to factor out underneath it so he could divide it. Like that. Yeah, Michael, you're the best. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and this one is 5. So when I factor out an A, I end up with 4A minus 1 plus 5 here. And that's a 4A minus 1. Here I am going to factor out a 4a minus 1, and what I'm left with is an a and a plus 5. And then I can split it, so 4a minus 1 equals 0, and a plus 5 equals 0, and a equals negative 5, and a equals 1 fourth. And that's my final answer. Easy.